So you like my purple shirt? Bright purple. So I had to go buy some new shirts recently. As I tried this new product called Purex 3-in-1. You heard about this? Who's single guys in the audience? You would be excited about Purex, like I would. Purex, it's a sheet, like a dryer sheet, but it's got detergent in it and fabric softener in it. You throw it in the washing machine. Whoa, I never used fabric softener before because you have to open it up in the middle and throw something that's another bottle you gotta buy. But it's all this one sheet. You throw it in the sheet, and then whenever you're done, you pick it all up and put it in the dryer because it's a dryer sheet too. That's awesome. That's a bachelor pro uh, product from, from heaven. I was washing my jeans with it, my sweatshirts with it, working great, towels, everything was awesome. Then I tried it on my dress shirts. And they came out of the washer with these little oil spots on them. Now, I'm a web geek. I know to go look, somebody else must have this problem. It can't just be me. So I went to their website. I found out on Purex, they have a frequently asked questions page. And it said, if spotting occurs, I think it even said, in the rare cases that spotting occurs, rub hand soap on the spots and wash it again because i was smart enough to know not to put it in the dryer with the spots on it so i wash it again and again and the spots were still in it so i post on here don't use it it left spots on all my shirts i already knew purex had a twitter account sorry to hear that they were listening they paid attention they responded to me step one sorry to hear that nah. Not as good as, oh, that's horrible. But at least they felt some pain. They empathized with me. And they offered me advice. Check your FAQs. Well, they didn't understand who they were dealing with. I'm kind of a big deal. I checked the FAQs. Tried it twice. No response. They were out of ideas. I was still out of shirts. So I posted this question. What's a better domain name? Purex sucks, or Purex ruined my shirts. Dot com, of course. <laughs> now that was me being sarcastic, but within 15 minutes, my followers on Twitter, I got about 10 responses. My followers on Facebook, another 20. All hands down saying, Purex ruined my shirts. Dot com is a much better domain name because it tells me something about the problem immediately. And I said, I got nothing else to do tonight. I mentioned I'm single, right? So, PureXRoomMyShirts.com is born. Because that's what a web geek with two hours of time in his hand does. <laughs> now, you'll notice up in the top right-hand corner, we've got a Flickr slideshow. So, I took pictures of the spots on the shirt, uploaded them to Flickr, took the embed code, put it on the web page. Then I took my video, my little flip cam video out, took a picture, uh, or took a little film of the spots on the shirt, uploaded that to YouTube. Took a screenshot of their tweet, their only response to me, put it there, and then I told my story. You know what's cool about text online? Google loves it. And you know what words were repeated in there a lot? Purex. Purex ruined. Purex shirts. This was, I probably finished this at, I don't know, 11 o'clock at night. Mention them single word. I'm not. Less than eight hours later, you do a search for Purex Ruined? <laughs> Number one. Here's the thing though, it wasn't the link to PurexRuinMyShirts.com. It's a link to one of the Flickr photographs. It's not even a link to YouTube. Not just any Flickr photograph, apparently number eight really rocked it. Number eight on Flickr. Purex shirts, more results, a more general term, 37,200 results. I'm number six. I'm still on the front page for a more general term. Later that morning, <laughs> please contact our customer service department. <laughs> now, the please is my emphasis, but please contact our customer service they did resolve the issue. I got to check for a couple hundred bucks to go buy myself some new shirts. But, and I posted that, hey, they resolved the issue on the website, but I didn't take the website down, I kept it up. Because now they serve as an object lesson in all my seminars. Why bother? Because I'm out there. Here's what else happens when you post something once. I've been
haven't made any updates to that page. More than a year later, Purex Ruined now gets 92,500 results. And I own the front page. Not just that, but Google changed their search. Look in the left-hand corner now. There's all these other categories, videos, news, shopping. What jumps out at you? YouTube's on there now. Whoa. Are you guys using video for your hotels yet? Somebody searches for hotels in Atlanta, will a video come up? Because that's the one they're going to click on. For now, Purex shirts, that was Purex Ruin. Purex shirts, more general term, going to be a lot more results. Like last time, I'll probably scroll lower. <coughs> Purex shirts, now there's over a million results. Make them happy, they'll tell a hundred. Make them mad, they'll tell a million. 